Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can solve this problem product array puzzle. Okay, so come let's see how we can solve this. So guys, here I've opened the question and now let's read it first. Given an array A of size N, construct a product array P such that PI is equal to the product of all elements of A except AI. So question ka kehne ka kya matlab hai ki hume ek array diya rahega and hume sare corresponding values pe poore array ka jo product hoga except the current element to wo print kar dena hai. For example, agar 10 hai yaha pe, to hume yaha wo product value print karna hai jo 10 को छोड़ के सारे array element का product हो for example 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 6 and 2 so that makes 180 and it will be printed here after that 3 के लिए हमें 10 multiply करना है 5, 6 and 2 से तो उसका total product आ जा रहा है 600 and similarly ये पूरा जो array है हमें इसे print कर देना है so to solve this problem, I have two approaches with me and now I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem using those approaches. So guys, here I have taken the sample array 10, 3, 5, 6 and 2 and I'm going to solve this problem using division method and without division method. So for example, your interviewer allows you to use divide operator. Then this question is quite simple for you. If you are going to use this division operator, then simply you just have to take product of all the elements that is 10, 3, 5, 6 and 2 and which is 1800. So you have taken the product and now you just simply have to print all the values that means the product divided by the current array values. So in this case it will be 1800 divided by 10 that is 180. After that 1800 divided by 3 that is 600. After that 1800 divided by 5 that makes 360. After that 1800 divided by 6 that makes 300. After that 18 divided by 2 that makes 900. So this is our answer. So if you are allowed to use this division operator then the question is very simple and the code is very small. But what if your interviewer doesn't allow you to use this division operator. Then the code is a bit lengthy but still the idea is very simple. So in method 2, you have to take two arrays of same size as of the given array and we will name it as left and right. So in left and right, we are going to store the array element in such a way that the first element of left array will be 1 and the last element of right array will be 1. Okay. Is ke baad hum log kya karne wale hai ki left array ke andar sari values ko kuch is tarikhe se store karenge ki hum usse first element se iterate karna shuru karenge right side and in right array we are going to iterate it from n minus 2th position till the 0th position okay that means ki hum right array ko peeche se traverse karenge and left array ko aage se traverse karenge okay so hum log iske andar store kuch is tarike se karne wale hain ki left ka jo second element hoga that is for iterator being at 3 we are going to store 1 multiplied by 10 that is 10 so hum log basically pichle wale sare elements ka product karte hue chalenge and use uske corresponding ith value pe store karte hue chalenge okay so for the iterator being at 5 we are going to multiply 1 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 3 okay that makes 30 after that the iterator being at 6 we are going to multiply 1 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 3 and then 5 that makes 150 okay and now when the iterator comes here similarly it will make 900 that is 1 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 6 okay so we have our 5 elements left array ka mil chuka hai pe. and now we are going to iterate in the similar way but from the back for this right array so when the iterator being at 6, we are going to take 1 multiplied by 2. So that is 2. So when the iterator comes at 5, we are going to store 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 6. And that makes 12. 
for the iterator being at 3, we are going to store 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5. That makes 60. And similarly, for the last element, it makes 180. Okay. And in the end, in this method, in the end, we just have to simply print all the corresponding products of these of these two arrays. So li into ri that makes for this it makes 180 for the next element 10 into 60 that makes 600 for 30 into 12 that makes 360 and for 150 into 2 that makes 300 and for 900 into 1 that makes 900 so these are the two methods now i'm going to show you how you can solve this without division method in c plus plus so guys here i have taken vector you can also take array uh, so the vectors are l and r okay and i've stored the first element as one and the last element of r as one okay and now i'm traversing for the left vector from one till n and i am multiplying and storing the current value as a pre as a product of previous values and in the similar way my right vector ko bhi update karte ja raha and last mein mai simply usse update kar de raha corresponding left or right values ke products and num samara jo given vector hai mai usi ko yahan pe update kar de raha and last mein maine return kar diya usse so now let's submit this answer let's see whether it is correct or not so yeah it is absolutely correct so this is how you can solve this problem i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet do subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever we upload a new video thanks for watching this one see you in the next one till then bye bye